Ladies and gents, welcome back to the My Dream Podcast channel. If you're new, hit that like button, drop a subscription, hit that notification bell, and check in right now. Blessings and respect. Today, we're going to be talking about Alkaline. Alkaline, man himself, the dancehall artist, Alkaline. On the 1st of February 2024, Alkaline released a song titled Nale Game" with the official visuals also. The song featured the voice of Big Wayne on the intro, the legendary Big Wayne. Big Wayne took to social media to celebrate that he got paid 10,000 US dollars, a sum of 1.5 million in Jamaican. Jamaican dollars, that is. Yeah, man, I really big Wayne is a shark, you know. I'm mean, not here, oh, I'm vexed when the talk, I will ever say this now without no apology. You hear me, I say, give up the man himself, Alkaline, to make this happen right now. And the man himself contact me. Me have to report to the man himself, one man himself in the business. And the man himself, you hear me, say, want to know about we, want to know about we lineage. We want to know about our background. We want to know about our bloodline. And I said, big up the whole Alkaline team. Big up Sponge Music. Big up Kerry. Big up Charming. And I said, I'm mad love. I'm going to run with this. But some boy know about we. Yeah. I test on the road right now. Because some fools see and them don't know nothing about we. I'm thinking they can't turn star in a moon. And we can put star pan tick. Big up the man himself again, Alkaline. Anyway, in the end of the world, and when we post this, we want to tag him and tag the whole team and tag Sponge Music. And that, me say, I will say to you, no apology. We want to know about it. We want to know about our background. We want to know about our lineage. We want to know about our bloodline. Some boy don't know nothing about it. For those who do not know, if you've been living on the rock, when it comes to Alkaline, he's one of the most hated dancehall artists in the world. It's unbelievable. Well, by Jamaicans, that is a lot of Jamaicans who say Gaza and unruly and stuff like that. But when it comes to popular fans that enjoy music, yeah, they love Alkaline's music. His music is magnificent. But you know, Jamaican culture is very tribalistic. People pick them side. Eaters are going to eat for eating, see it just because you're a Vibes Cartel fan or a Popcorn fan or a Massacre fan, you do not like Alkaline music. None time, none tall. Hold on there, people. We have a clipping of a popular Jamaican social media personality who goes by the name Pretty Dan, who definitely don't like Alkaline. I years and years of hating upon Alkaline because a Gaza, a Vibes Cartel, she represent or him or however it balance out. You know what go on this. So. They, them, he, she, but I get confused at times. But listen to this. All right, Alkaline gave Big Wayne $1.5 million for using Vice. Me not believe. Me don't believe Big Wayne get $1.5 million. I'm not going to tell you that because Big Wayne lie. One thing with Big Wayne, I'm not going to lie. But what we can tell you is Alkaline we give money for two. Because the one thing with the data boss is not going to work. You're not going to give money because you hear what a man tell you say, you run your dung in a balance. You're going to cost you. You see me say, the man believe in if you give some money. That's a good look. I see artists them go out with for a word here. You know, I use the people in voice and I reach out and I give them all a thing. That is so nice. You feel me? I deal with a whole heap of people use people voice and don't get nothing out of it. You understand what I say? I mean, I tell no like alkaline. Real good thing that you do, G. I mean, I tell you no lie. Remember, guys, I'm saying no. But you see me? We can't tell you straight. So even though they, them, he, she, whoever that identify as you are going, that person actually showed some respect to Alkaline Man himself, but also assured with the caveat that, yeah, a Gaza, yeah, yeah, you know that go already. Yeah, Gaza, that say, yeah. Stop, 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 stop right now. If you're enjoying this content and you would love to support this channel, drop a super thanks right now. You see the comment box where you have the money sign? You can click on it and drop a donation. It's called a super thanks. Blessings and respect. And drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Hey, this is the Alkaline. Am I doing it? I'm not trying. Alka, pick up yourself, yo. Millions of dollars, Samson. But like, yo, Gary, the man must be about Jerry. <laughs>
justice. Oh, no, 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 no. Empire come link up. Oh, I'm here, I want to know about we, I oh, don't talk so much, bring about we, and we're at the front of the ground, tell them, one way. So here we have Alkaline being featured for the Soul Survivor Rhythm, right? Top 25 Rhythms, when we hit the play button, what we can see, what do we see? We see Alkaline's Ocean Wave official music video. So Alkaline is being featured. The Soul Survivor Rhythm is one of 25 rhythms being featured on the Rolling Stone magazine for this article. Soul Survivor Rhythm was released in 2020, produced by Javi Ambassador. Producer Javi Ambassador created his Soul Survivor Rhythm as a therapeutic exercise just days after he was involved in a serious car accident that required months of rehabilitation. The sleek rhythm, more closely aligned with R&B and trap than reggae and dancehall, features artists that he had previously worked with, including Alkaline, who encouraged Javi to make the rhythm while he was recuperating. Great songs on the Soul Survivor, including Jamil's Shepherd which encourages young people to pursue their dreams and Movado's life, a stunning autobiographical tale detailing the suffering the artist endured to attain success. Key tracks featured Ocean Wave by Alkaline, Shepherd by Jamil. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with who I am, I am CV, CV, Dance or Music Review. I run vlog channels for Alkaline. I run the Citadel also, Alkaline Vlogs. On the channel Alkaline Vlogs, I release brand new content each and every day. Whether it's reviews or vlogs about Alkaline, strictly about Alkaline on that channel. It's the most recent vlog I released on Alkaline Vlogs, I spoke about the Soul Survivor Rhythm being featured on Rolling Stone and Alkaline being the main artist being featured in this article for the Soul Survivor Rhythm. I am not saying Alkaline was the only artist featured. There are many artists that were featured. Layla Ike, Protégé, Chronix, um, Beanie Man, Steven the Genius. Uh, who is that? T.O.K.? Is that T.O.K.? Yes. T uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's T.O.K. right there. Uh-huh. Drop Leaf Rhythm. Um, Mr. Vegas. Countless artists were featured and producers. Sean Paul. You know, a lot of people being featured in this article. The point of this article was to highlight 25 rhythms, 25 rhythms that define reggae and dancehall music, Jamaican music. Shaba Ranks. Tanya Stevens, countless artists being featured in this article. However, for some people, highlighting Alkaline seem to be a problem. 25 rhythms that have defined Jamaican music and Soul Survivor is one of those 25 rhythms. There are hundreds and hundreds of rhythms, thousands of rhythms that have been released over the years in dance or reggae music. And the fact that Soul Survivor is one of 25 being celebrated, guess what? And Alkaline is the main artist on that rhythm guess what i am gonna be speaking about it so who want vex go on vex who want mad go on mad who want getting at them feelings go on getting at them feelings that are that naturally let's take a look at this comment from chris williams 3066 you talk like alkaline get an article in the magazine laughing 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 faces and all of that emoji look how much other producers on that list Okay, okay, so because there are other producers on that list, we should not celebrate Alkaline being featured. Because there are other artists that's being featured, we should not celebrate Alkaline. I mean, we're Alkaline supporters, Alkaline fans, running Alkaline fan channel. So we're going to be talking about and highlighting Alkaline. Why are you so mad? It creates everything all them people that go out of them weird to leave these disparaging, these stupid, just ignorant comments. If someone else is featured in that article and they're being celebrated, who is to say, like, no, you know, if you celebrate that person, if someone is celebrating Sean Paul or Shaba or whoever is being featured in the article, why are you naysaying? Why are you, oh, you're an alkaline hater. Okay, I see. I understand. And another one. Yep, yeah, we have another one. Courtney Salmon, 9049. Kiss my teeth. Life changer for you, probably. Look how much artists get featured in Rolling Stones every day. Shake my... Uh, 
I mean, shake your dickhead. I mean, brah, these people are so ridiculous, so bad mind, so filled with eight like what you are here to hard for you are eight like say you get a medal so of all the artists being featured in rolling stones you are say basically we should not celebrate alkaline being featured so how come other artists get featured and they celebrate that so in a word celebrating no more because other artists so basically you're saying rolling stone should pack up they should shut down they should stop publishing because it's not worth it anymore. It's not important anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. I mean, could you imagine getting a Billboard number one album? What? It's not coveted anymore because others have done it before. Could you imagine winning the Grammy? It's not worth it anymore because others have won it before. Could you imagine winning the Oscar? You know, the, the, the Emmys? I mean, the mobile? No, because other people have won it before. Many have won it before. No, it's not worth it anymore. It's like getting rich. Why get rich when many have gotten rich before? Why earn money when many have earned before? Why live when many have lived before? Why? Why? I don't know. Why go party? Why drink? Why eat? Many have done it before. Apparently, it speaks to their core. Just hate. Eat, pant up, I eat. They are filled with eat, envy, bad mind, jealousy. My God. Sometimes you got to take a step back and just wonder, wonder and wonder, ponder and all. Like, really? These people are so filled with hate and jealousy that they come on the social media to just talk and type nonsense. And people wonder why Vendetta fans are so cruel, why we are so grimy, why, why we deal with people with such rigorous treatment. Yeah, because pretty much, um, yeah, we are a product of our society, of our reality. There are always people coming at us, so we go hard extra hard so if you see the garbage truck pull out and i'm saying everybody shit is garbage except alkaline don't be mad at me because people are always hating so guess what we're gonna fight back we're gonna fight back and we're gonna go hard right so people gonna be like yo cv you can't be saying this and you can't be saying that i'm like oh well you should have told the other people not to say it. yeah mm -hmm. uh, i for an eye might leave the world blind but hey i'm not turning the other cheek Screw that. I ain't turning no cheeks from a dirt a dirt, from a touch a touch. And if you violate, yeah, you're going to get it. Simple as that. And yo, let me just cool down. Let me not keep going. I want to say blessings and respect to everybody tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscription button and the notification bell to be notified when I go live or release new videos. So, big up on yourself. Drop a super thanks. Yeah. Drop another comment. Yeah. And drop another comment. Uh-huh. Big up on yourself. Love and respect is the My Dream Podcast channel. Make sure now I come back every day. Yeah, me try to speak like English and thing over here. So, cause I, you know, I want to broaden the the horizon of viewers and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, man, man, talk part to about yasa, man, man, a Jamaican. You see what I say? You're not a Jamaican. Yeah.